These people are real life angels right here in LA. They're doing good. For 26 years now, we're talking about Project Angel Food. They deliver free meals to people who are seriously ill. And they're about to serve their 10 millionth meal. The executive director, Richard Ayub, actress Sharon Lawrence, are here. Welcome, both of you. We're Thank great. You. To, we're happy to be here. Thank Boy, you this for is, inviting us. This is really exciting, right? We talk about 10 million meals. We think about all the stories involved and how many people who have been helped. It's as if you've thought of every single person in Los Angeles as if we fed them all. <laughs> 10 million meals. You that, know, I think there's about 8 million people in Los Angeles. That's a lot of food, but uh, Sharon, it's also a lot of, a lot of hope because uh, we know Project Angel Food doesn't just deliver meals. They, they give these people a reason to believe that somebody out there really cares about them. Very well said. And that's one of the things that inspired me when I moved to L.A. 20-some years ago. I heard about it, and because I had come from New York and had spent so many years in the theatrical community, I had lost loved ones to AIDS. And I understood that what we do is we tell stories um, in our community. And the story of care and comfort and communication is also something that Project Angel Food delivers. And uh, that's why I'm so moved by what they have accomplished over all these years. The disease is still out there, but so is Project Angel Food because of people's support. And it, it, it's not, uh, you mentioned HIV AIDS. It also mm -hmm. helps people with uh, cancer and other right. life-threatening diseases. And uh, Richard, I imagine over the years you've gotten letters of, of gratitude. We, we get letters every single day. We get phone calls. We uh, get in-person visits. I have a piece of art in my office that was done by one of our clients just wanting to share her gift with us. And it was done on a cabinet door, and she painted on it. And it's just simply beautiful, and there's so much love in it. It's so rewarding to th think about what you're doing because it's, it's not just for the patients. It's not just for the people right. who are going through this. It must relieve a lot of stress for the family members who they can check one more thing off their list. Again, that's a great point. And those people that volunteer to deliver and volunteer to cook, when, when you recognize the, the service that you're providing, it's, um, it really is a two-way street. And one of the ways that, that people can help is through a benefit um, that we're actually um, uh, holding on Friday night mm -hmm. at the Mark Taper Forum. I'm appearing in a play called The Mystery of Love and Sex. And people that are interested in supporting Project Angel Food can go to the website and purchase a ticket to come see the show. And I'll be um, meeting and greeting those people that have come to support that project in person to thank them for contributing to the work that we do. It's Friday night, this coming Friday night. Um, we close the show on Sunday, so it'll be really special for us as uh, as cast members and for those people that get to see the story that we're telling and why it's all about connection is such a good fit. Exciting for your fans too because yeah. they get to meet you. Right. Well, <laughs> and I get to meet them. Yeah, it's, it's again a two-way street. And this Friday is an important day. Uh, I think the City Council is going to proclaim it. Angel Project, Project Angel Food Day. day. So uh, Mitchell Farrell, LA City Councilman, will be there. And what's really wonderful, for two years straight, he delivered our hot meals to clients. And so he delivered them in the district that we're in, and our 10 millionth meal will be delivered by him and our founder, Marianne Williamson, who you see on Oprah's Super Soul Sunday all the time. They both will be delivering it on Friday in the Hollywood district. And I know Mitch O'Farrell's always been a big supporter of Project Angel Food. Absolutely. And uh, we are so grateful that he's been so good to us. He also got us an urban garden. So we have volunteers wow, who go and garden produce mm -hmm. and other things. We have 1,100 pounds of produce mm -hmm. we get from that garden. That's, that's incredible. And, and you're looking for volunteers all the time, donations. Can you tell us how people can get involved and how it We works? have about 3,000 people who volunteer every year. We, we have four chefs in the kitchen. The rest are volunteers. So it's about 10 to 15 people every day, six days a week in the kitchen. So if you want to volunteer, all you have to do is go angelfood.org slash volunteer and you can volunteer. And, and if, okay. if you're interested in tickets for the show, it's angelfood.org and I'm sure that the website will direct you to 
to that specific opportunity. And we have all the information on our website, too. Oh, Make it easy on everybody. Thank you both so much for being here, and thanks for what you're doing. Nice to see you. Thank, <laughs> you. Thank you. All right, we're talking about Project Angel Food, how you can help. Just go to our website. It is kcalni.com. We've got all the info right there about Project Angel Food and also about the show coming up Friday night.